What's a really awkward situation that everyone can relate with? Walking through a doorway, only to catch your clothes on the handle and have it slingshot you backwards. Happens only when you're angry. When you're saying goodbye to someone, and then you both end up walking in the same direction. Or when you turn and walk into a wall with people watching. Also when you realize you've forgotten something and need to turn around. But you don't want to just turn around abruptly because that would make you look insane. So you do a little performance where you get your phone out, pretend to check a message, sort of mime a ha, and then turn around. Or cross the street and then turn around to throw any observers off the scent. When you're finishing up at the checkout and the cashier puts the notes on top of the receipt and then coins on top of that, then the next person steps up and you're fumbling, trying to disassemble the stack in your hand. Gather your shopping, say thanks and move away at the same time. Standing there while two people talk about something you don't know about. Even worse when you are wanting to leave the conversation, but feel like you need to have an excuse to leave. I really have to poop and giggle. Let them figure out which is more awkward. I think you misunderstood the term for shit and giggles. When you've had multiple interactions with someone, but you can't remember their name, but it's gone too far to admit you've forgotten it, so you just have to call them love or mate forever. I have a trick for this. Start being more loving to them. Eventually getting into relationship. As this moves further. Propose and they'll say yes. And then when you're getting married. Wait till the pastor turns and says. And will you person's name. Marry your name. And boom you now know their name. That awkward moment where you and somebody else try to let each other speak but you both try speak at the same time and just keep failing. That would be a Skype slash Teams moment. It's happened to us countless times. Especially since we are all now working from home. When you try to contribute to a conversation and someone cuts you off multiple times. And you patiently wait for your turn to speak. Even though it already was. But by the time the air is clear. The subject has already changed. And what you were going to say is now irrelevant. Being at a friend's house as a kid and the friend's mother starts yelling at your friend. Being at a friend's house as a kid and the friend's father walks in only wearing underwear. The opposite as well. Having a friend over and your parents do this. Or worse. Your parents try involve your friend in the argument asking them if they would do that slash would their parents put up with it. So fucked up. When you reply to a stranger who says hello but then realize they were on the phone and not speaking to you. Happened to me just yesterday, and I didn't get any sleep last night as I couldn't stop reliving the moment. AirPods have made this one so much more common. It's really annoying. Especially if you work in retail. When you go for a hug, but the other person goes for a handshake. So you start with a handshake, but do a weird hug at the same time with your hands in each other's crotches. I just skip all that, and go right for the crotch. When you start to tell a story in a group, but in middle of sentence realize that no one is actually listening and ever so slowly you get quiet and hope no one took notice when they don't realize that you were getting quiet at first you think oh are good nobody naughty at oh but seconds later you start to feel bad that nobody was really paying attention to you not even hearing that you were are making noise or so ran that feels awful you ever clogged a toilet in somewhere that wasn't your house oh man I show up to pick her up for our first date. I asked if I could use her toilet before we left. And only had to pee. Speaking of. Why the hell doesn't everyone have a plunger? It's a common item. And there really isn't a reason not to have one. Most people I know. Have the logic that. Because clogs rarely happen they don't bother buying a plunger. That's like not putting an alarm in a bank. Because people barely break into banks nowadays. Being called on to answer a question you really have no idea how to answer. I used to just say I don't know fml. Can't speak for you, but whenever I said I don't know my teachers would go on a rant and say something like why don't you know, you should know, or the old classic at least try. And then when I try, I say something stupid and everyone starts laughing, and the teacher says that's not right. God bless I'm not in school anymore. Removed. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. He left. Oh. 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 Sorry. Just gonna squeeze right past ya. I wonder how that would go in Canada. Sorry. 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 
Sorry. Sorry. When you think someone waves at you, so you wave back. But they were waving at someone behind you. Not long ago at church we were asked to turn and greet people. I turned around, and the guy said hi to me, and stuck his hand out to shake. I went for it, and realized he was talking to the woman beside me. She and I both ended up with a hand in his hand at the same time trying to shake it. They both looked at me, and I quickly turned around, and pretended it did not happen. Which made it more awkward. And then rest of the service I cold know it stop laughing about it. This is standard for me. If you have any stories, please share them in the comments section below. When you're walking past Kaoka, and you've already said hello earlier, everyone's making that weird flat smile. That walk down a long hallway toward each other where you've clearly seen the other person. But they are too far away to say something. So you do the awkward look around, until you get close enough to say hey and keep walking. Ever drag your shoe across a tile floor, and have it make a loud, wet, fart sound. So everyone in the room looks at you, then you insist it was your shoe, and try to make the sound again. But nothing happens, yeah, that, and leather couches. When you are having a conversation with someone, and you don't know it hear what they say, so you ask them to repeat and they do, but you still don't know it hear it, and ask them to repeat again and they do, and you still don't know it know what they said. Do you ask them to repeat again, and maybe still not hear it? Pretend you heard it, and nod your head and hope it hears an appropriate response? Stab yourself in the eye with a pen to create a diversion, and change the subject? Just laugh. Say yeah and hope they didn't just tell you their dad just died. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Watching a sex scene with your parents. Visited my aunt and uncle 7 years ago, and we were hanging out watching TV. My uncle clicks through channels and stops on Herald and Humor Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Within minutes it's the shaved pussy party scene. My aunt and uncle sit there in silence watching not saying anything, until the scene is over while I sweat bullets. If you put an acorn between my butt cheeks I could have cracked it. A few months ago I visit again. Uncle flips through channels. It's Starship Troopers. Within minutes it's a sex scene and the boobers are out. I'm not visiting anymore. I'm not visiting anymore. Went ahead and moved in. Then. The fake smile on your face when you receive a terrible gift. Wanted the Smash Mouth CD with All Star on it when I was a kid. My aunt wound up getting me the Len CD with Steal My Sunshine on it. Apparently I hadn't heard the song yet back then, even though it was all over the radio. My disappointment was immeasurable and my day was ruined. I faked a half smile. Decades later I love Steal My Sunshine and I should have been happy. When someone asks what's going on, and you respond good. You. How are you? Uh. I'm fine. What about you? Great. You. When your mom leaves you with some distant relatives, whom you have never met. Bonus points if they say, do you remember me? No. Because I was fucking two months old when we met. I'm 40 in a few days. And my mum will still occasionally ask me if I remember bizarre relatives I've never heard of. Do you remember Brenda? No. You know. We went to her Dave's house for his son's christening. No. She came to our Darren's wedding. Uh, she wore a blue hat. No. Anyway she's dead. Oh. I see. When you say a funny joke but all you get is silence. When you walk out of the store empty handed. Feeling like you've just stole something. When you are video chatting. Start talking and. Because of the delay you interrupt each other all the time. Stop talking. Start again. Interrupt the other one. Stop talking. Never ending story. When you're walking. And almost trip for no reason. And look back at the invisible stick. That you tripped on kind of knowing someone in the office. Well, you guys spoke that one time. So now every time you see each other, in the lift, walking down the corridor, you have to decide where to put your eyes, until you naturally see each other and say hi. Uck. Go to wash your hands and the water comes out at a thousand miles an hour, splashing your crotch. You are of course, at work. When you're on a public bathroom and someone tries to open the door even though it's locked, the worst is, when you say it is occupied, and then they try opening it even harder. Or when they gaze at you through the 1 centimeter gap between the door and partition. That is the worst. Such a violation. How dare you make eye contact with me, while I'm shamefully trying to shit in a public bathroom. 
having a Lara happy beer dan oyo sung to you. Just smile Matherfica. Think happy thoughts. Think happy thoughts. Farting while coughing or sneezing. When you say something funny and no one reacts, so you say it again, and they are like, uh, why did you just repeat that stupid joke? Not being able to pick up when someone else is completely disinterested in what you are talking about. You have ever said anything in 45 minutes are you okay? When you are at a friend's house and their parents are yelling at them, sometimes beating them. When you're at a friend's birthday party, and you crack a joke, that makes one of the kids laugh so hard they puke cake on the table and now your friend's mother is mad at you, because supposedly this is your fault. r slash oddly specific. Calling your teacher mom. Especially if it is a male teacher. When you ask someone a question, but cannot hear the answer, then you ask them again and still cannot hear them. Then just saying Uri or Kaoyo, and praying you don't need to know whatever it was they said. When you're walking behind someone that has a slightly slower pace than you, so you start to pass them, but then have that awkward moment when you're walking next to them before you cut in front of them. Worse is when it's also a narrow corridor, and you can see people coming towards you from ahead, and you trying to do math to figure out if you'll be able to overtake the slow walker without running into those people like a car. When you're out and someone approaches you with an oh hi insert name, nice to see you again, and you have no idea who that person is. When you're pissing in a urinal and a dude just pulls up to the one beside you, even though there are 8 urinals available, this is really common in Russia because over there, urinal is actually urinal. Being expected to make polite conversation while having a gynecological exam. There you are. Pussy exposed. Legs spread wide. Someone is stuffing something up your vagina. And you are expected to be able to talk about the weather. I'm not a woman. But I suppose the poor doc is just trying to make things less awkward. But unintentionally makes things more awkward. As a nurse, you are commonly thanked by a patient when you leave their room. Once in a while there's something else, and the area of will almost comes out by habit. The phrase you bet works as a response to a thank you and a request. When you're walking on a sidewalk with two other friends and you're the person that does not fit, so you have to stay being them. For the guys, when you want to get out of a chair and go somewhere, but you had a random boner pop up out of nowhere. Pro tip, squeeze your feet and, but muscles really hard to quickly get rid of a boner. Mine. Or his? When the person says no, when you ask them out. Edit. Thanks everyone for the responses. My response really just meant it's awkward, because either you and or the other person might feel awkward when it happens. Thinks can. Obviously. Be fine after. Just right when it happens it can be odd. More like they say are yeah yeah I would be cur no. And then text you later saying Thea unfortunately really busy. Not hearing what the other person said. So you just nod and smile, praying it wasn't a question. Coming out of a public toilet, after laying a beast and there is someone waiting to go in the cubicle. Worse when you've blocked it up. When you're next in line at the grocery store with your mom, and she leaves you to just get one more thing and the anxiety and awkwardness builds because you're up, and she's nowhere to be found. Stalking someone on social media and accidentally liking a comment from months slash years ago. Saying oh royal or oh royal oh royal oh oh to somebody and getting 100% ignored. Worse when someone else you know is there too and notices you getting ignored. The accidental fart. When you accidentally say you too. After someone says something that isn't compatible with that statement and you just stare awkwardly at each other. Oh uh, enjoy your flight. Oh uh, 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 too. Uh, uh. When the server brings your food and says er enjoy your forward over and starts walking away and you say back oh er out or oh, oh, oh. I am a server if it makes you feel any better I have said er have a nice day go over instead of er enjoy your mo more often than I would like to admit I think it comes from me trying to not use the same phrase for every table I hate the idea of saying something to one table then them overhearing me say the same thing word for word to the table next to them Basically I am trying to make the service a little more personal, but it occasionally makes me do dumb shit like that. When you're home alone. So you take a poop with the door open. Then you suddenly hear the front door of the house open. Always poop with the door open. 
then the awkwardness is avoided. When you go to Somiyanoa's house and their big ass dog wanna it stop jumping on you or licking you. Or shoving their nose in your crotch. Forgetting Somiyanoa's name and having to introduce them to someone. Having your stomach rumble in the middle of a quiet class slash meeting. When you run out of things to say during a conversation and you are not quite sure how to end it. I'm not sure if everyone can relate to this. But one of the most awkward situation I've ever found myself in was being invited to meet my girlfriend's family and over dinner her parents got into a massive fight. Care to elaborate? Someone showing everyone in the group something on their phone and waiting until it is your turn. Even worse if it never makes it to you and you have to pretend you are not secretly dying to know what it is. When a friend sees a friend and starts talking, and you just stand there, because ya are conditioned to keep your mouth shut, but in reality I think I'm supposed to introduce myself, and then after having that concept of a at speak, unless spoken to or drilled into your head as a child, you find out that you have to network to get ahead. Thanks for watching the video, please like and subscribe for more content.